One of the things you will frequently need to do with matrices is add and subtract them. At first, this seems like some weird esoteric endeavor because you have this cluster of numbers and this cluster of numbers. What is it that we're adding? You know, I know how to add regular numbers. Well, it turns out the way you add matrices is pretty much the way you would probably intuitively do it. You take the number in each spot in that grid and you add the numbers in the matching spots together. So for example, here we've got a matrix A and a matrix B and uh, they both have the same top row, one, zero, negative one, one, zero, negative one. I did that on purpose. So if I were adding A plus B, I would add this one to this one to give me two. I would add this zero to this zero to give me zero. I would add this negative one to this negative one to give me negative two. Is that negative two for y'all? I never remember whether my camera is flipped. Uh, but then you keep going on down the line. So this zero plus this zero will give you zero. This one plus this negative one will give you zero. This two plus this negative two will give you zero. Again, on purpose to make a cool result. Uh, and Python can take care of that for you. So for example, let's add in a couple lines here where we're going to print the result of A plus B. So we've defined these as matrix A and matrix B. We're literally just typing in A plus B. It knows that we want that matrix addition there. Sure enough, I get two, zero, negative two. That's one plus one, zero plus zero, negative one plus negative one. I've got zero plus zero, one plus negative one, and two plus negative two, giving me all zeros. And then I also arrange this last row to give me the same thing. One, two, three, plus three, two, one, gives me four, four, four. So if you're comfortable with adding vector components, you know that you add the X components together, you add the Y components together, you add the Z components together. It's much the same thing. It's just in a two-dimensional grid instead of just in a list of components. You just add the matching matrix elements together. So you might be wondering, is this commutative? Is A plus B the same thing as B plus A? Well, why don't we find that out? So instead of A plus B, let's try doing B plus A. I know this works if I'm uh, adding regular numbers, and I am, I am adding regular numbers. I'm just doing it many, many times. And it turns out, yes, A plus B, the same thing as B plus A. You see, you get the same thing here. Because you're just doing regular addition, right? We don't really have any new operations to do with matrices. We just have our standard uh, operations to do with scalars. We're just doing it, in this case, nine times, right? So if you had a four by four matrix, you'd be doing scalar addition 16 times. If you had a five by five, you'd be doing, uh, you'd be doing scalar addition 25 times, etc. Um, you can also subtract matrices, right? Uh, it, again, it does pretty much what you think it would do. We're going to take each element, each corresponding element in the grid, and we're going to subtract those individual numbers. So for example, when I take a minus b, I'm going to take 1 minus 1, gives me 0. 0 minus 0 gives me 0. Thrilling result, I know. Negative 1 minus negative 1. Uh, minus negative becomes a positive, and that gives me 0 here. And on and on down the line, right? So 0, 1, 2 plus 0, negative 1, negative 2. It's going to flip those negatives around, and you'll get 0, 2, 4. Uh, and then this last row, uh, 1 minus 3 gives you negative 2. 2 minus 2 gives you 0. 3 minus 1 gives you 2. Um, and again, you could probably expect that to, you know, flip around if you change the order. So maybe you want to do uh, B minus A instead. So let's change this to a B minus A. I'm going to get the exact opposite of what I had before. So this 2 becomes a negative 2. This 4 becomes a negative 4. Negative 2 becomes 2. 2 becomes negative 2. And all the zeros, negative 0 is just 0, right? It's special like that. Now you might be saying, well, if I can add matrices, what if I m add the same matrix to itself, right? Like what if I take A plus A? Let's try one more thing here. So A plus A, you notice this one becomes a two, the negative one becomes a negative two, the one here becomes a two, the two becomes a four, the one, two, three becomes two, four, six. It's like I've multiplied everything by two, and that's exactly what we mean when we say something like two times a. So let's try this out here. We're gonna add in a calculation of two times a. 
which in principle should give me the same thing. Let's see if Python is savvy enough to do that. And sure enough, it is. And so when you have a matrix, this, this grid of numbers, and you multiply it by a scalar, when you multiply it by a regular number, you're distributing that regular number into every element of the matrix. So each element of the matrix is going to get multiplied by two. Or if I wanted to take uh, a half times a, let's suppose I wanted to cut a in half, then I would just distribute that one half to everything, right? So the one becomes a half, the negative one becomes a negative half, uh, the twos become ones, the three becomes a 1.5, etc. You're literally just taking that number and distributing it to all the elements, just like you, you might expect by common sense. And so matrix uh, addition and multiplication by scalar is a nice intuitive process in that sense.